Wake up, my love. P3, my boy. You're alive. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Comrade Sechenov. The government commission... They're dead. Molotov's body is here. What about the others? How many people were with him? F Fifteen or so. Some of them may have survived. Find out. Uh, what the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? Guess the robots got in. You were fortunate to escape unharmed. C Comrade Sechenov, all the members of the commission are dead. All of them. This is tragic. But it changes nothing. Collective must still be activated. I couldn't agree more. But what should we do with the dead Politburo member? We don't have a lot of options here. Right? Handle it. Mikhail, head to the radio station and make sure power to the government line has been cut. Make it quick. Uh, yes, sir. But the Kremlin will be expecting a report from Comrade Molotov. I will personally inform the Politburo of this tragedy. Hurry, Mikhail. We don't have much time. Left, help her. How are you doing, my boy? Not good. I failed you again. This is too much. It's too much for all of us, this terrible incident.
What was that? A tribute to the departed. Kondrasetchenov! Uh, we've got a problem. The central hub is broadcasting. Someone is trying to send information to the West. Who? Who could have done that? There are only two people who could have done it. You and Petrov. Petrov's dead. I saw his body. Just his body. Petrov is first and foremost a head. It was his body. How's that possible? Filato. Hmm. When your accomplice is a neurosurgeon of Dr. Filatova's caliber, then anything is possible. Have you traced the signature? Petrov is masking his signature, but I'm sure he's in one of the scientific centers. Did you hear that, my boy? Go find him. Right now. Charles, what the hell happened down there? What exactly are you asking about? Who killed the government commission? How did I survive? Sorry, I cannot help you. You suddenly lost consciousness as though you'd been struck from behind. When that happened, I was also disabled. What was that monster made of red polymer? That was a neuropolymer data storage. A data storage? What does it store, dead bodies? The boss said it was a tribute to the departed. What's that got to do with data? You will have to ask Dr. Sechenov himself. For my part, all I can say is that Professor Zaharov died the exact same way. This is fucking nuts. I really thought the polymer was harmless. <sighs> Fair enough. Find Petrov and return to Chelome as soon as possible. This will be the best outcome for everyone. Charles, why did that monster, you know, the red polymer thing, the, the data storage, why did it look like a person? Dr. Sechenov's idea. He wanted it to move independently. Why would a data storage need to walk around? So it could run off someplace and get lost along with all its important information? It won't run off. It's as loyal to Dr. Sechenov as the ballerina twins. When Dr. Sechenov releases it into the outside world, it always remains near him as an additional security measure. Security? So it can attack people? What do you think, Comrade Major? Why would a neuropolymer substance capable of dissolving a human being in mere seconds need to be able to move independently? Crispy critters. Yeah, makes you think. So, Charles... When Dr. Sechenov sends his twins somewhere on an assignment with, say, Stockhausen, he's guarded by that red monster? Makes sense. Comrade Stockhausen is incapable of independently reaching his destination within a facility swarming with hostile robots, and Sechenov would never remain unguarded. You think there are people in the Kremlin who are jealous of him and want to get rid of him? It's more likely that they just want power over Collective. If you rule the world, it's hardly surprising if people want to take your throne. Very powerful people. I'd rather have Dr. Sechenov be the General Secretary of Collective than anybody else. I hope you're right. Fading data. Charles, how could that prick Petrov send intel to the West? The facility's under lockdown. As you have no doubt already observed, there is one communication channel connected to the outside world that is not subject to the emergency protocol. The secret government line. Quite right. That channel is used by Dr. Sechenov to contact the Kremlin. No one else has access to it. Yeah, no one except Granny Zena. So, what's Petrov trying to pull? I believe he is trying to dupe the Central Hub by passing himself off as Dr. Sechenov. That son of a bitch. Charles, is there really a chance Petrov could fool the Hub? It wasn't exactly programmed by morons, right? They must have put protections in place. Hacking Collective Central Hub is a very difficult task. Even with the right communication equipment, Petrov will need considerable time to do it. So where can he find that kind of equipment, other than the Science Center? Only aboard the Flying Chelemay Complex. And nowhere else? <laughs> That's great. 
Your goose is cooked now, Petrov. Traitorous dickhead. Hey, Charles. What does the Sechenov Center study? Radio waves, Comrade Major. It contains equipment that will help Petrov detect you. So move with caution. Guess we better stay quiet then. Major. The enemy has raised the alert level. do that?
trough is somewhere nearby, comrade major. Keep it down. Here, you little fuckers!
you dead, mutt. You'll never stop me. Gods may do it. Look what we have here. You killed him! That's enough, Victor! So much death! I just knocked him out! He's unconscious, okay? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing him... You know, it's, it's all wrong, it's all wrong. I don't agree. I'm sorry, Larissa, but I don't understand. He ruined everything, and you, you... I'm a doctor. Enough people have died today. People, Larissa! He's an animal! He'll rip anybody's throat out of Zechnoff orders him to! Victor, he's tied up. I'll program a treatment, and then we'll go. Go where? No one's coming for us. And this fucking lunatic's ruined our escape plan! I know. We'll come up with something. I doubt it. <laughs> Just let me go, and I promise I'll make it quick. <laughs> ...and painless. So Sechenov's talk and talk, huh? Look, he just came to and he's already threatening us! <laughs> yeah, I am threatening you. How many people have your robots slaughtered without so much as a warning? Petrov? Two thousand? Three thousand? That's 000? not Victor's fault. Huh. It was a local malfunction. A local malfunction? Then why the shit doesn't your boyfriend have a scratch on him, huh? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? First Vavilov, then the VDNH. The robots are attacking everyone except you two. Why is that if you're not controlling them? <laughs> Victor, you said you had nothing to do with this. <laughs> and you believed him. What other bullshit has this guy told you? <laughs> oh, man. Victor. I had no choice. A simple malfunction wouldn't have changed anything. How could you? Huh? How could I? You said it yourself, the whole world might end. Huh? No, don't touch me. 
<laughs> you really didn't tell her anything, did you? <laughs> A big mistake. Hey, what the hell? Hey, Larissa, wait! Larissa! Nothing can save you now, asshole. P3 to Chelome. Petrov got away. Again. You seem to enjoy chasing the man, Nechayev. Petrov must not interfere with the launch of Collective. Find the criminal. Now. You have drawn the wizard's ire, Comrade Major. No shit. Get off my grill, will ya? We now have access to the scientific testing ground, Comrade Major. You can find valuable weapons in such locations in the future. Yeah, I know your science shit. All you do is deceive honest citizens with the concept of a bright future. No comment. Outstanding. Let's go take a look at the gear that'll help me see tomorrow. Access granted. What will it be, Major? Yeah. 